welcome everyone to this uh, virtual community meeting regarding the upcoming uh, Riverside Area Street Reconstruction Project. This is a 2018 Bond Street, Street Reconstruction Project uh, in combination with the Fort Worth Water Department. My name is Greg Robbins and I'm the project manager with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department. On the call as well are representatives from the Fort Worth Water Department and the engineering consultant. They'll be around at the end to help answer questions. Um, with us as well is Alicia Ortiz from Councilman Moon's office. Thank you, Alicia, for taking the time to attend. Um, is there anything you'd like to say before we get started? Hi, thank you, Greg. Just wanted to say thank you for everyone that's attending this evening. Uh, we appreciate uh, staff's ability to do this virtually, and we know with the light of COVID, you guys have been really great about making sure that these important meetings carry on. So thank you for all the work and for the opportunity to about the project, we're always welcoming um, projects that are coming into the district, and so we're excited to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Alicia. And so this presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project that's happening in your area, and give the community the opportunity to provide input or make suggestions or ask questions about the project and, and how they're gonna be impacted. Um, here's the agenda of what I hope to cover in this brief presentation. I'll be talking about the project as a whole, providing a summary of the improvements for each street associated with the project, discussing the expected project schedule moving forward, and then blocking off some time at the end for some questions and input. So first we'll talk about the overall scope of the improvements that are associated with this project. So there are five streets associated with this project. We have Ellis Road from U Street to Sandy Lane, Kings Highway from Fane Street to Wheeler Street, Oakview Street from Marcella Street to Airport Freeway, Seaman Street from East Belt Knapp Street to Clary Street, and Selma Street from Britain Street to North Beach Street. The next few slides show the existing conditions of the street and why they were slated for reconstruction in the first place. Uh, you can see from these pictures some of the issues that we're going to be correcting. Um, and so it includes damaged asphalt pavement, missing curb and gutters, damaged or missing sidewalk, uh, damaged or missing concrete driveway, driveways, as well as water and sewer utilities under the street that uh, need to be replaced or upsized. These pictures are here to give you an idea of what you, you can expect a new street to look like, uh, including new asphalt pavement and curb and gutter there in the picture on the left, um, new concrete driveways there in the picture on the right, um, new sidewalks, um, and ADA wheelchair ramps where they're needed. Uh, also included but not shown here, as I mentioned, are new water and sewer mains, um, which also include new service connections to the houses, um, water meters, and cemetery sewer cleanouts. Now I'll go through each street individually and discuss the improvements that are expected to be made. On Ellis Road, we will be reconstructing the asphalt street, including new curbs and gutters, as well as replacing damaged concrete driveways. Kings Highway will be receiving new asphalt paving and concrete curb and gutter as well, but it'll also have a five foot sidewalk installed on the east side of the road. In addition, the uh, water and sewer utilities under the street are being upsized. The uh, existing sewer being upgraded from a 10 inch to a 12 inch and the existing water being upgraded from a 15 inch to an 18 inch. Uh, similar improvements are expected on Oakview Street as well. Uh, new asphalt streets with concrete curb and gutter uh, replacement of damaged concrete driveways, as well as water and sewer main upsizing, upsizing the sewer from a six to an eight inch and upgrading the water from a six inch to an eight inch. Seaman Street will be getting the same treatment as far as paving is concerned with the addition of a five foot sidewalk on the west side of the street. The water and sewer mains under the street will both be replaced with new eight inch pipe.
And finally, for Selma Street, this street will be reconstructed with new asphalt pavement, uh, concrete curbs and gutters, uh, concrete driveways, and five-foot sidewalks on both sides of the road. In addition, the water and sewer mains are both being upsized uh, from a six to an eight inch for both. Um, also, please note that approximately half of this street is located in Halton City, so that proportion will be funded by them. All right, so I'm gonna talk briefly about the upcoming project schedule. The engineering design is essentially complete for this project, so we're expecting to advertise this project for bids later this month, which means that it will be early next year when the council approves the contract and awards the project to the winning contractor. If all that is accomplished, we'd be looking to break ground on this project sometime in the late spring of next year. And we're expecting the construction to last for about a year, so that would put us at a spring to summer of 2021 to get it wrapped up. So we've come to the end of the presentation. Um, we'll now move into our questions and input portion. So if you have questions, uh, please put them in the chat and we'll get to those first, then to anyone else who may have questions over the phone. Greg, so far we don't have any questions in chat. Um, okay. I can check with the call-in users, just a second. Okay. Hang on just a second. Okay, the call-in user uh, with the last two digits of two, four. I'm gonna unmute you in case you wanna make a, ask a question. I don't think that they were unmuted. Oh, there they are. Hey there. Okay. Caller, do you have a question? No questions. Okay. Thank you. Okay, caller with the last two digits of seven, two. I'll on YouTube if you'd like to ask a question. I don't have any questions right now. Okay, I don't think a caller with the last two digits of zero two has a question. It looks like we have one question in the chat. Hang on just a second. Okay, Adam is asking, will they all start at the same time? So as far as construction, I assume that's what we're talking about. Yes. Um, it'll, It'll be up to the contractor how he wants to do it, but most likely he'll have a, a utilities contractor that starts at one street and moves from one to the next. And then following behind them will be the paving contractor that does that work. So it probably won't be that all streets are under construction at the same time, but they'll be phased um, one after the other, uh, utilities first and then paving second. But like I said, that's up to the contractor on how they want to phase the construction. Okay, the next question is, I live on Selma Street and I've been calling about the road for the past two years. Um, I'm very, very glad that, that we're going to be able to get that repaired for you. Okay. 
Adam, did you have any specific questions about Selma? Uh, let me see if I can unmute you just a second. Jeff, do you want to try to unmute him? Uh, it's, it's giving me a, a strange error. I'm going to hit unmute everyone and see if, uh, okay. if everyone will. It's not letting me do it. Uh, you should be able to unmute yourself now. Okay, yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, this is Adam. I was uh I was the one asking those questions earlier. Um, I was I was just wondering because uh back when they did the the um, sewer lines over on Selma Street, it's roughly around like mm -hmm. and a half ago, I believe, maybe two years. They uh it was it was not long after I purchased my house. They um they came in there and did sewer lines, and when they did that, they uh they cut through my sidewalk that was just only paved. And it was it was paved because it was a it was a newer house that was built on that street, and I guess the city required a sidewalk to be put in. And when they did when they did the uh, the sewer lines, they cut through my sidewalk, and when they they fixed it, they put asphalt down on the concrete so sidewalk. So, and by mm -hmm. now this time, it's been pretty much deteriorated because all the grass is growing through in it. And I was just wondering, is that going to be fixed? Because that, that's been, you know, a pretty big eyesore for the past two years. Uh, so you're asking if your sidewalk is going to be replaced? Yes, because it, it was replaced um, about, I think, I think they built my house about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. and I bought it two years ago. And right after I bought it, they, they tore up the sidewalk and put down asphalt on the sidewalk. So I was just wondering if that's going to be replaced when when the uh, construction is in process. Yes, we are going to be doing a concrete sidewalk on both sides of the street of Selma. Okay, cool. So there's no there's no order that they're going to be done. There's just um, you know whichever one. I was just wondering if there was an order that all these roads are going to be done. If there's one that's more urgent or. Um, no, it'll be, like I said, it'll be up to the contractor to provide us a, a phasing schedule. And, uh, and once we have that and this project, we, and we have a contractor selected and we've awarded the project, we'll have another meeting, a pre-construction meeting, and hopefully we'll have a better idea of the construction schedule and how the contractor wants to phase it. Okay. So when, when should, uh, when should I think this meeting is going to be? It'll be after we award the contract. So can I go backwards on my slide here? There we go. Um, so we're, we're probably expecting to award the contract in spring next year. So that'll be about the time when our next uh, pre-construction meeting will be. 
Okay. So, okay, awesome. Well, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a new road. This uh, this road that on I don't I don't know if you've seen it personally, but it's mm-hmm. I have. It's pretty pretty bad condition. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, I appreciate the info, and uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Greg, we don't have any new questions. Okay. All right. Well, to everyone who attended, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to to watch this presentation, get some more information on this project coming up in your area. Um, this is my contact information, my phone number, my email address. Please feel free to reach out to me um, with a phone call or an email if you have any follow-up questions or comments or maybe something that um, – um, you didn't think about. Oh, there is one other question. Can I access this PowerPoint by chance? Um, we this this meeting is being recorded, and Jeff, if you'll confirm, but we'll be putting it up on our YouTube channel. Correct? Yes, it's going to go up on the city's YouTube channel. And um, do we have a project page on the website for this project yet? If we have if we have a project page, um, it'll go on that as well, uh, so you can link right to it and watch the whole presentation. So yeah, once again, there's my contact information. Please feel free to call me about anything regarding this project and questions you may have. Um, I'll leave it up for a little bit in case anybody's writing it down. Um, Jeff, there's a question what the YouTube channel is. All right, let me see if I can find it real quick and I'll share the link. Okay. See if this works. The channel name is uh, Fort Worth City Hall, and I'll see if I can put that in chat. A link to it. Thank you, Jeff. Absolutely. All right, so I'll I'll leave this up for I'll leave this up for just a little bit. If anyone wants to copy the link write down my contact information, and um, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, and I hope everyone has a good evening.